Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to export the Google Map 3D models. You can check your video description. You scroll down to the bottom and check your video description. You can see download Google Map 3D Grabber version 2. This one is compiled by me. I already put the download link. This is my Google Drive. Just go and download it. This is a zip file. After you download it, what you need to do is extract it and you will get this folder, Google Map 3D Grabber version 2. In this folder, you can see you have a RenderDoc 1.7 installer. So first, you are going to install this, the RenderDoc 1.7. After you install this, make sure you, ha you have the Google Chrome. This is the Google Chrome. If you don't have this Google Chrome browser, you just go and download the Google Chrome and install in your computer. This is Microsoft Windows 10. Next. Now here I provide you a Blender 2.90.1. For this version of the Blender, I already put in the plugin that you require to import the Google Map 3D. So make sure, make sure you do the first step, render doc, go and install this. So now start from now, I'm going to show you from beginning. At the beginning, now you check this folder after you install your Google Chrome, you have this Google Chrome shortcut. This is what I have provided for you. If you right click, check the properties, this one Google Chrome X64 render doc, the target and start in, I already modified it. This is just for your render doc. This one, this is belongs to you, the target and the start in. For the Google Chrome original shortcut, it is like this. Now, I already made some modifications. Now you can see some disabled GPU sandbox, all this related to the render doc. You no need to worry about this. You just need to use this shortcut. Before you start anything, make sure you already close all the browser. If you, you, you are still opening any of the Chromium or Google Chrome, you just close it. Close all the browser. Then make sure you already start the render doc first. Render doc already install and start it. Next, click file, inject into process, and here type Chrome C H R O sorry C H R O M E. Stand by there. After that, by using my shortcuts, it depends on your operating system. You, you can either start Google Chrome X64 or Google Chrome X86. For my computer, what I had installed is Google Chrome X64. Just double click the shortcut. After you double click this render dot Google Chrome shortcut, you should be able to see this white color totally blank, you cannot see anything, and another conversation box, GPU starting with PID. At this moment, here you refresh, refresh your render doc version 1.7. Now you should be able to see Google Chrome GPU. Click here to select it and click inject. Next step, GPU starting with PID, here you click OK. Now, it is ready. Next, go to the Google map, the map.google.com, map.google.com. So I will give this link as well, it's easier for you to click it directly. Alright, at here, now, Let's say if I want to go and grab some buildings, for example, Alpha Tower in French. I search it first. Most of the famous cities, you can find a 3D. You click the satellite. Now you can see the Alpha Tower is here. You click the 3D. 
Now this is the Alpha Tower in Paris. It is a really awesome building. Now I will demo how to grab this, grab the whole Paris, grab the Paris city around the Alpha Tower. All right, next back to your render dog. Here you can see capture after delay. Here you put five. Make it as five seconds, and then click capture after delay. Then you have to come back to your Google Chrome. So now I will demo. Capture after delay, I click back to the Google Chrome. Must make sure you drag, drag in this way to move it. After five seconds, you can see it is here already. Back to your render dock. This is 44.48 MB. The render dock already helped you to capture the 3D models as RDC file. All right, now I minimize my Google Chrome. As demo, I will open a new folder on my desktop and I will name it Alpha Tower. Now, I want to save this. Right click save. I will choose desktop and I will name it Alpha Tower 01. Save. Where is it? Alright, it's safe in the wrong location, sorry. Again, right click save. I should choose the desktop and the folder is Alpha Tower. The file name Alpha Tower. Save. Now, it, it is already in, in, the, in this folder, as you can see. It is already here. Just now, I, I did a mistake. I saved in, into my desktop, so I delete the one. Next, this RDC file is very useful. Now, I will return back to the folder, the one that you downloaded and as the zip file and you already extracted. Open again, you can see a Blender 2.90 that already modified by me by install the required plugin to import the RDC file. Double click in to open the Blender. So the first step, select everything here and delete it. This is the camera, this is a cube, and this is the point light. We no need these three objects. So I press delete button to delete it. Next, click edit, preferences, add-ons, and here search for map. You should be able to see map model importer here. Make sure you already take it. This is very important, very crucial. Make sure you take it. After you take it, close. Now, if you, you click file import, you should be able to see the Google map capture RDC. That means now this blender already ready to import the RDC formats of the Google map that capture by your render doc. So where is the location? The location is on the desktop alpha tower. So file import Google map capture RDC and I will select the desktop alpha tower. Here you can see an RDC file. Just double click and wait for a while. Start from, from now you can see not responding. This is very normal. Don't close it. Just be patient and wait until it finish load the whole map here, the Paris city. Just wait for a while. All right, now you can see the Paris already loaded. If I click here, 
turn on the texture you can see this is really a 3d model of the paris city around the alpha tower it is really awesome but you cannot direct export it as fbx the first step what you need to do is select everything because now it's separate a lot it's separated as a lot of different meshes we are going to combine it as the first step just to select everything in this way and press ctrl z now all the meshes already combined as a single mesh next at this moment you can export it out as fbx file so file export fbx and always remember the path mode you have to select copy and make sure you click here to make it become blue color and select the correct location is i will put on my desktop alpha tower i will put as the same folder here i will name it as alpha tower 01 now i export this fbx file the exporting process also take a few seconds and now you can see the fbx file is here if you cannot see the .fbx file extension, you can click View Options, click the icon of the, of the option and click View. Make sure you untick the height extension for known file types, then click OK. Because the file extension is quite important as a game developer and 3D animator, you need to involve with a lot of different file types. So I prefer to direct show the file extension so that you can directly recognize what is this without looking at the type 